This is the uh, interstate batteries. <clears throat> Model number is SLA 1156 12 volt 35 amp hour. The weight, net weight is 10.2 kilogram or 22.44 pound. It's made in Vietnam. Okay, let's open it. Okay, <clears throat> there's not much uh, in there. Um, so it comes with, let's see here. It comes with, um, let me just put this down. I'll put it aside real quick. And let's zoom in. All right, so it comes with if I can open this bag, okay. Uh, let me see. Two, three, four of these washers and two bolts or screws and two, <clears throat> I think they call this uh, anti slip ring or anti slip washers. Um, and also, obviously, the batteries itself. <sighs> okay, so this is supposed to be a seal lead acid battery, which I think should be 100% seal, which means that it's probably okay <clears throat> to um, flip this on its side and um, it's not going to spill anything but i'm not gonna take that chance because i'm not 100 percent sure about that uh, all right so it says seal maintenance free rechargeable battery non-spillable okay well so i guess that's true agm um sla 1156 12 volt 35 amp 20 hour max charge current 10.5 amp standby use and then the UPC barcode. All right, here on the top, let me see here. Um, I don't know how to bring this down. Okay, well, anyway, so we have a positive terminal here and there's some kind of a red colored epoxy. And then this is the uh, uh, negative terminal. And make sure that the uh, the screws can actually screw in here. Yes, screws in perfectly fine. This one screws in perfectly fine here also. So, all right, let's uh, just measure the voltage with a multimeter uh, just to be sure. Okay, so fresh out of the box from the factory without charging, without charging it at all first this is measuring at 12.75 volt 12.74 volt 75 74 75 all right next we're gonna take some measurement so first the uh, I guess the width of this particular battery is uh, seven and I would say seven and three quarter yep it's about seven and three quarter is the um, the top widest portion the bottom portion which is more is narrower is smaller you can probably fit it inside a seven I would say Five eight seven five eight, yeah seven five eight is the bottom width, and then the uh, <clears throat> I guess what do you call it the depth? Um, the depth is going to be on the top seven no sorry 
five and a quarter. Maybe five. Yeah, I would say five and a quarter. And then the, the bottom part, which is more narrow, is about five. You need about five inch, five inch clearance at the bottom. Okay, now we are going to measure <clears throat> how tall it is. So since it says non-spillable, I'm gonna put it on the side. <clears throat> All right, let's see. How tall is this? So without the terminal, just the, the base itself is approximately about six and one eighth, six and one eighth. But with the terminal and everything, it's going to be about six and five eighth with the terminal, but without the bolt on the terminal. <clears throat> Hello everyone, welcome back to DIY Geek uh, channel. In this video, we are going to um, take a look at this interstate battery. This is a battery that is uh, SLA1156, usually used in a uh, scooter um, or some cars. I'm actually going to be putting this in my uh, Tesla Model S as its uh, 12 volt um, accessory battery. And I'm going to be doing a measurement, um, review, um, what's inside, etc. Unboxing basically for this particular uh, battery. I bought this battery on Amazon uh, for $79.99. Um, it arrived in two days using Prime. Um, Amazon has all the dimensions here. Um, let me find out what is the... Uh, See, there's also another picture of the dimensions here. Trying to find out what is the warranty. So uh, this is 12 volt, 5 amp, 35, it's not 5 amp, this is mis mistype, it's supposed to be 35 amp hour. Um, let me see. Okay, so it has a 12 months replacement battery, uh, replaced by, back by a 12 month warranty. So it's, it's a one year warranty. It arrives ready to use, no charging needed. It's, this is also most commonly known or replacement for the DCM0035 battery. Okay. Well, thank you guys for watching this video and I uh, hope you like the content and find it useful. If you do, um, please give this video a thumbs up so it can be discovered by many other people. And please subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel to see more do-it-yourself video like these and support my channel. Thank you.